loves and welcome back to my channel my name is Shawnee and if you are here for the first time then welcome love if you are a returning subscriber then welcome back today we are going to do something that I love 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 doing which is getting closets organized this is going to be a three-part series I am going to get our girls closet together my son's closet together and then our closet together and I always love sharing these videos you always enjoy them and so I am happy to oblige so today we are going to tackle our girls closet my husband and I went and purchased a few things for them as you know we are still not out and about like we used to be we try to keep everything pretty minimal and we still don't take our kids out um, to do much of anything. We do take them to the park and just little things here and there where it's not too much of a crowd. But for the most part, we do still stay inside. But we do want to just kind of revamp their closet and organize some things. We have a lot of games, puzzles, school supplies, as you will see as I'm cleaning out the closet to get in order. So I just want this to be a space that they can be proud of, that they enjoy being in. And we just moved in. So if you have not checked out my last couple of videos, be sure to check those out. I will have one linked up here. So don't forget to check that video out after this one. Um, I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you do love videos like this, then comment below. Say yes, Shawnee, thanks for another one. And I would also be curious for you to share with me some of your favorite places in the house to organize. All right, y'all, without further ado, go ahead. Once again, hit that subscribe button. It should be right here. Like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this video, y'all. Hope you enjoy. should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. but I don't know that much about you what things you like and what you don't it's not Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I know I feel it's something for ya. use this Rubbermaid Home Free Series closet organization unit in one of my previous videos. Y'all, we swear by these. These are such an amazing thing to use. They are renter friendly because we are renting currently. And so this is easy to assemble and put on the wall and it's easy to take off without leaving a whole bunch of different holes. Um, so we absolutely love it. Um, and if you have never put together any kind of unit like this trust me it is very 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 simple and i will share that step by step as i am putting this up there we're going to use this on the right side of the closet wall in our girls closet we do have a substantial amount of space in this closet 
compared to the closet that we had put this in previously. So I'm excited to see what kind of organization um, we're going to be able to get in here out of it. So we're probably going to be able to use quite a bit of the items that are in here versus the last closet we put it in. It was a little bit smaller and more compact, so we didn't get to get the full utilization out of it. So this is what we're going to put in here. So I'm super excited to get started on this. As you can see, I'm going in with my little handy dandy stud finder. You can pick these up usually at any home improvement store, Lowe's, Home Depot, even Target. And all it takes is a couple of AA batteries and you are good to go. I love taking my time once finding the studs and marking exactly where I am going to drill the holes. This makes the process so quick and easy if you start with a good foundation. I shared in previous videos about using the drill. Very rarely do I get to use the drill for any projects around the house. My husband absolutely loves doing projects like this. So this little project, I went ahead and got the drill out and I was so excited to use it. If y'all love using drills, then definitely comment below. It is definitely a game changer and makes things so much easier. Another little gadget that I love using when I do any kind of measuring projects, just to make sure that everything stays level. You see that little bubble right there? Once that little bubble gets in the center of those two lines, that will let you know that everything is leveled and ready to go. little man to the rescue. I know that you see him in a lot of my videos. He is definitely my little super helper. He's always there to help me when I'm doing projects like this. He absolutely loves it. Again, as much as your children want to be involved in cleaning, any kind of home chores, absolutely let them do this because this is doing nothing but teaching them good habit. Hopefully over time they will start doing chores themselves, but I absolutely love when they help me. On this part where you are going to start hanging the bars from the foundation bar that is horizontal at the top, you want to make sure that you are spacing these out according to how you want to set up your bars because you do have different size shelves and different size hanging bars and so definitely go into this with a plan of how you want this to look. They try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. I've had the idea to possibly open up a closet um, organization, just a little small business. 
where I would go in and help people redesign and organize their closets, pantries. I absolutely love doing these specific places and I think that it would definitely uh, help some people. I have had a couple people reach out and say, do you do closets? Do you do pantries for other people? And this is definitely something that I have considered doing because I do thoroughly enjoy it. It is therapeutic for me. So comment below if you think that this might be a good idea. I'm interested to know what your thoughts are and if you would ever utilize someone like this to come in and help revamp your pantry or closet. Sip me up like lemonade, we both know it's bittersweet. placing everything and getting it set up so that I can start putting the clothes and bins back into the closet. These little white hooks, this will allow you to adjust the shelves and the spacing on the top and the bottom. So as you can see, you can put clothes on the bottom bar like I have it here and then I'm putting an extra bar at the top. And so you can actually compartmentalize the items how you want them. So this is definitely versatile a versatile unit and you can put this in so many different arrangements. Absolutely love this unit. This little black stand that has their shoes on it, I have shared this as well in a previous video and I will have this link below. I did purchase these little stands from Target. They were about $8 a piece and they are definitely something that will help you maximize space in any closet, a pantry, towel closet, uh, it'll help you maximize space and you're able to just stack these as high as you want to on top of each other. They just hook in on the end. So I will definitely have those linked below. So just look for those in the description box. purple bins that you see me putting the books in. These are amazing. A lot of teachers use these in the classroom. This is just to keep folders, binders, books, 
anything that you can think of organized. And so you can pick these up at Target. I will also try to go ahead and link these items below. And I know that you could also get these on Amazon as well. No worries, all the bins that you are seeing in these videos, I will have a link for those below. If it is not the exact item, then that means that this item has been discontinued and the stores are no longer carrying them. But I will be sure to link a link that is definitely similar to the items that you see here. <music> A complete video without telling you about these amazing cleaning products that I use in my home. I also am able to purchase snacks, healthy snacks. Um, as you all know, we do suffer with asthma and allergies in this household. And so since using these products and eating these healthy snacks that I'm able to get um, online, it has been a game changer. Go ahead and just hit me up at lifewithshawnee at gmail.com for more information. You can see it is the next day and this is all the stuff that we brought out of the closet yesterday. And so we're going to get these things organized, weed through them. It was a lot of things that we needed to get rid of. And so we were able to donate those to the donation center that was right down the street from where we live. And so I'm so grateful that other kids are going to be able to utilize these things that my girls no longer can wear. The amazing things that I love about having kids of the same gender is that if something gets too small for my oldest daughter I'm able to pass that on if it's in great condition to my youngest daughter and so that definitely saves money <laughs> and so mamas you know exactly what I'm talking about um, it is a game changer when you have at least someone that you're able to pass these clothes down to and then after they get passed down to our little one then usually we go ahead and either donate those if they're still in great condition. If they're not, then we will try to repurpose them some kind of way. And so that is definitely um, a plus if you're able to share clothes with siblings. I know that I've been asked in previous videos about dressers and what we use to keep clothes organized. I simply use these bins that I'm able to purchase from Target uh, or Walmart and they roll. And this has been working amazing for the last few years. My husband and I have these as well, but we have the brown uh, ones that look like they're twined. But these I, I have found have been amazing. They are cost effective, so if you are on a tight budget, this is also an amazing solution for you. And they last forever, it seems like. We have had the same bins that the girls put their undergarments in, shorts, night clothes, all of those things for at least two years now. And they cost all but maybe 12 bucks a piece. So I definitely recommend these, especially if you have a space that is not that big and it saves space in the room so that your children have more room to play with.
as you can see, this is the next day and the closet was already a mess. And so as you could imagine, we had to just reposition some things and add some things back in there. But because everything was already pretty much foundationally organized, this was a quick process for us. I will also link my kids nightstand. I was able to purchase this on Amazon. I think it was about 40 bucks, but I love the fact that it is see-through and it's iron. It was very simple to put together and they have loved it. So I'll definitely link this below. It does come in, I think six different colors and it's so affordable and it's very, very, very simple and easy for the kids to keep their books organized on. As you can see, everything turned out amazing. I absolutely love it and so do the girls. Each of them have their own side of the closet now, which keeps a lot of fights down in the house <laughs> about them grabbing each other's clothes. Again, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am also going to give you a sneak peek of next week's video. I am going to be doing another grocery haul. I know how much you love those. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, loves. Bye, loves.